Hey everybody, welcome back. Some of you are already on the train for Hinder Knives. I have heard so many people talk about them. The quality, just making sure you have one. Now, I have to tell you, Cole, one of the awesome members of this community stepped up and he's like, Zach, you need to see some Hinder Knives. I think there's one that you'll like. Now, he sent me three of them because he wanted to make sure I tried out some different ones. And I'll have to tell you, this one is the one. I am like, oh my gosh. Now, you're going to see it. You're going to know it. You're probably going to go, oh, I know exactly why. So let's open this up. This is an older one from him. You guys can already see that it's got my style on it. Um, there's some stuff in here about how to change the pivots, the triway pivot system, the hinderer sticker, who assembled and tuned it. Now, those of you who are hinder experts, please forgive me as I am. This is the first hinder that I've carried. And I have to say thank you to Cole. So these are going back to Cole. Sadly, this one will go back. But there is so much detail and work on these knives. I didn't even know. Let's start here. Let's start with this beautiful G10 black and blue. Got that kind of like almost uh, patinaed brass look for the barrel spacers. Same with the hardware. Just overall beauty. Now this side is full titanium, the lock bar side. That beautiful, beautiful anodized blue. USA, the Blade CPM 20 CV. Look at the hardware contrast. And I know you're saying, flip the knife out, flip the knife out. Oh my goodness, what can I say? Now, I've even left some fingerprints on it because, well, that's just from carrying it and using it a little bit. Nothing too crazy, you know, especially loaner knives. I want to keep them in good condition, but I had to carry this one. They even remembered the lanyard fans. You guys, I have a large glove size hand. It completely fits in my hand with extra room without using the forward finger choil. So using the forward finger choil, you can get up on it even further. Wow. Now, this one itself is the XM18 3.5 Skinny. It's got the sheep's foot blade, the triway pivot, and it's got that stone wash anodized blue for the clip and the lock side. Now, one of the things I learned was this has, if you can see, the G10 scale on this side actually rests on a really, really thin, skinny titanium liner over here. So you can see the reflection there, but just a little tiny. So this is so, so strong. Now, it's been taking me a little bit to get used to. I'm not a flipper guy, but this has a thumb stud. But I always find myself pushing that lock bar down. So I've been using it as a flipper and it works fantastic. For me, I would probably ignore the thumb studs just because my bad habit of, of gripping, you know, I put my fingers on here. I'm used to like a bench made. So I, I have to reprogram myself and I just can't do it yet. So I've been using the flipper on this one. It works fantastic. The only thing for me is when I have my thumb there, as you can see, thumb gets in the way and it pops right back out and locks. So overall though, this knife, you guys, just beautiful, just amazing. You can see the milling in here. So you can get your thumb in there for unlocking that frame lock. Now, this one, the specs on it. Overall, like we said, 3.5 inch blade, three and a quarter inch cutting because of your forward finger choil. Now your closed handle length on this one, 4.75 inches. We didn't, we, we talked about it. They didn't forget the lanyard fans, so you guys can rejoice. And overall, 8.25 inches about 4.6 ounces in weight. It's got a beautiful flat grind on it. Nice kind of stonewash finish to the blade. 
I really dig that. It's super sharp. I don't know if Cole's put his own edge on it. He probably has, but these skinny versions come with a thinner blade and a thinner handle. So some of the other stuff that I've tried, super thick. You get, you guys may may like that. This is this is the one for me. He sent me the right one to check out. He knew. I think he knew deep down, especially with the the G10 scales, like and the blue titanium. He's like, oh yeah, it's. This is going to be the one Zach wants. Now, if you're a tip down kind of guy, you can flip that clip over right here. You have the, the ability to do it. Uh, one of the cool things I've seen is some of these hardware things. These are Phillips screws, your pivot. It's a flathead. Kind of interesting. Very cool. Like I said, first hinder knives that I put in my hand. Thanks to Cole. Pretty awesome stuff overall. Now, of course, made in the USA by Hinderer Knives. And I have to say, just a good size. It's thinner for even a big knife. Um, I did want to see how it kind of compares to a couple of my favorite knives. So I want to show you, of course, I, you know, the Benchmade Bug Out is kind of one that I have a few of. Obviously, it's going to be, you know, line them up tip to tip or pivot to pivot, however you want to see it. Um, it's going to be much larger than the Benchmade bug out. Um, another one that I always compare knives with is the Spyderco Para 3. This one's a lightweight. So pivot to pivot, and of course, tip to tip. And the only other one that's big enough that kind of holds some weight on it is your Benchmade Super Freak. But this one's so much thicker. But overall, size-wise, like, you know, I think if we line them up tip to tip right there, they're pretty much the same size. So, but obviously, even much thicker, as you can see. Not much, but a little. So, man, let me know down below. Are you a Hinderer fan? Do you have a favorite Hinderer? It looks like, just from the research I've done, there's way different types the scales, obviously, you can switch those out, do so many different things with them. Um, there's flippers, non-flippers, I think. We got into a bunch of them. So I have a couple other ones that I've checked out from Cole. So watch the videos on those. Cole, thank you again. This one's my favorite. It pains me to send it back, but yes, it will be sent back to you. So anyways, you guys, doing something kind for someone, it's awesome, man. Uh, makes you feel great. Help somebody else out. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Most importantly, you take care.